Welcome back, my name is Richard and I make videos on YouTube about software development and other geeky shenanigans. To not spam your own server when you send messages to users, you might want to send them a direct message instead. However, you can also send a message that only the addressed user can see. You might know them as the only you can see this message. Anyways, let's find out how to do all of that. I am back here in the project and I have opened a file called DM for direct messages. And in here, I am going to create a simple command, which is the ping command. As we know it from previous videos, it only has a context. Now, I do not want to go with the normal context sent here, but I do want to look at the context and actually get the message author. This is the user object that has sent the message, as the name might suggest. And we can simply send them a message directly. Also have to wait this. Let's start this and simply use the ping command. As you can see, I now have a direct message here from the 360 bot and you can see Hello, and indeed I have tested this before I recorded it. Okay, however, sometimes you do not have the context message author and you have to find or get the user first. So let's comment this out and try a different approach. And for this, it's very important that you do enable the intent for members. Otherwise, this is not going to work. To do this, we are going to use the Discord utils. And in here you have various methods like get or find, and they are all a little, bit, a little bit different of how to use them. But in our case, we are going to use the get method, which should return us a member the moment it finds the member, right? This is very important. And in here we can say from the bot, because I know we are only on one guild with this board, so don't do this in production. I'm just going to say, okay, from this guild, you could also say, find me the guild with this ID, etc. right? And that might actually be easier as you can do it directly on the bot rather than with the Discord utils. Anyhow, bot.guilds and then the first guild that we have, I want to go over the members. And from there, I want to get any member that matches the name with user2, which is myself. And this should return me the user. And I can simply then say, if we have a user, then send the user a new message with hello too. All right, let's try this out. And I'm now going to use the ping command again. And I can see I have not awaited the message. So let's fix this, run the ping command again. And there we have it. We received another message after our bot has found a member with the nickname user2 on the guild. So this is also very interesting. Now to the next one. And that are the very specific messages that only you can see as a user when you are in the guild chat and not in a direct chat. At the moment, this is not possible with Discord Pi in this type of context. However, we are moving on to what slash commands. You might have seen it. If you run slash, you will see that we are implementing a few commands and these are interactive commands or context commands. Over there, you can do that currently with Discord Pi. So let's move on to the slash commands in the next video and we're gonna start exploring other options that we don't have at the moment.